Revolutionize your approach. How Agent CRM transforms Medicare success. Hey, what's up, Eric? Thank you for joining me on this call. I want to talk about Agent CRM success stories. And you're using Agent CRM right now to build your Medicare business within the Family First Life umbrella, which I'm like super excited to see how you're doing this. Uh, we got a lot of Medicare agents that watch our YouTube videos that just are not using a CRM. Can you share with me how you're using Agent CRM to just keep yourself and your team organized with all the leads you're working? Sure. So you mean you have people watching this that may not be using any CRM at all? Any CRM. They're like yellow padding it, maybe some Google Sheets. You know what I mean? Like they're not using a CRM at all. Yeah. So, well, man, that's how I started my business. So I totally get that. Um, you know, when I... When I first got into the business, insurance of any kind, I was uh, I was 27. This was like 20 years ago. I'm like I'm 48 now. So I was uh, this was 2003. I got my license. I, I had I had a back then you had cell phones with the push buttons, and then yeah. I had this other the other thing that was like a uh, it was like a, a it had pages that you would flip. We called it day timer, and that's how you would put yeah you would use this something that looked like this, and you would put ink on paper and. <laughs> It was crazy, man. Uh, and so when I first started um, selling insurance, like I, I personally, like, I mean, uh, we would go like door to door. Like we didn't have leads. We didn't have anything. I mean, I didn't, you know, I came in under a completely different deal. So, so, but, but in some ways that kind of makes the experience accessible. I'm sure you have people on here that had to make some door knocks from time to time or make a cold call or two. So for us, that's literally what we did. So I had uh, developed a system over like several years of, of how to make contacts and how to keep organized. And it was in a bunch of these. Wow. Uh, I don't know if you remember composition books. So this is yeah. actually one of my comp books from 20 years ago. You can see it's all t- tweaked out here. But we would literally like, we would draw maps of like the neighborhoods that we were working. And then as we would knock on the doors, you'd collect like people's names, you know, and then, you know, things would, you'd have outcomes, you know, demos and sales and whatnot. And then as you would make sales, see like over here, I'm kind of track it. So like I would I would have this at the you know folded back at the door. Oh, are you are you Alex? Okay, great. And yeah. then after the presentation, you know, if let's say you picked up a policy or whatever, I would write down like, okay, here's Alex and he bought, you know, whatever. Wow. And then and then I would ask you for referrals, right? And so all the referrals that I would collect would be in this in these books. And because they're not you know, they weren't loosely for anything. So like over months and months of years and years of working, you know, I'd be like, oh, where was the book of, you know, so I'd, you'd have them categorized like, okay, this book was for this city and this book was for that town and this, you know what I mean? And and that's how it was kind of like, and, and I know if if you're watching this and you don't have a CRM, you know, you may have a more sophisticated system than that. I was, uh, <laughs> but, but I mean, th- there's, there's, there's a, uh, one, one of the guys that we work with here, who's like a, Hall of Fame producer, which means, uh, you know, uh, he's writing over $400,000 worth of placed uh, life premium anyway, wow. every year. And he told me that a couple of years ago, he didn't use a CRM. And uh, I later, you know, recommended him to you guys, obviously, but he was literally like printing out his leads in paper and then calling leads. And then like, as he would set appointments, he would have folders set up. So it'd be like, okay, well, th- this folder is for this town. And then he would move these loose leaf pages, basically, it was like you'd have the lead form and then you'd have his financial inventory and staple them together along with whatever policy information, put it in a file and then you would locate that in a big filing cabinet and would say, okay, this is, these are the people that have this policy. These are the people that have that policy. And I was asking him, I said, man, I mean, obviously you're, you're killing it. So like, maybe there's no way to improve this, but like, how do you find out, you know, in, in the database of your clients, which is literally this like filing cabinet over here yeah. how do you find out like who has life insurance but it, it, and is turning 65 and might need medicare assistance now or how do yeah. you find people that maybe you signed up for a medicare supplement policy but they don't have a dental vision and hearing plan which is pretty critical right how do you find people that maybe bought a prescription drug plan from you because they already had medicare advantage taken care of but now you're trying to circle back and say oh can, hey maybe i can get you know, an MAPD together. How do you find people that were like, they were, they were over 65. They couldn't afford the life insurance that you were showing them, but well, because of their medical, because of their income level, maybe they qualify for a, a D SNP or whatever else, you know, on the Medicare side, it's very difficult to figure all that stuff out. If you yeah. do not have some kind of CRM to manage that, 
you know? And so, um, you know, I, I've, I've used, you know, in the past, I, I, I used a bunch of different CRMs to try to figure out, you know, what I wanted to settle on and agent CRM to me is just, it, you know, not only do I think high level has like all the features that, you know, you would, you, you could possibly want in a software kit. I mean, I replaced, I mean, I replaced so many different software, but I think my Calendly, I replaced, you know, my, my, uh, my text blast service. I replaced uh, MailChimp. I replaced all these different things, you know, inside your system, but also because you guys do such a good job, I think, um, branding group of building out, like here's, here's a Medicare funnel. Here's uh mm-hmm. here's, here's a Medicare marketing piece. Here's a, or life insurance, whatever, whatever niche that you're in, you know? Um, and so to help, to help leverage the technology and get you up and running quickly. So that's, that's why, that's why I love what you guys are doing. That's awesome. Thank you. So for the guys that are out there that are like, they're like that guy, like that hall of famer who's doing well, but his system is on paper or it's in an, or maybe they're, they're a little more evolved and they have it in a Google sheet, you know, for when they move to agent CRM, um, how much more business do you think they're going to realize once their data is is organized a little bit and they can see this right in front of them? You know what I mean? Like you went from a paper system to online, like you showed me the book. What's been the difference for you in terms of like revenue generating? Because that's what people want to know. There, because it is work yeah. to go from paper to digital. There's a there's a process. So what's the payoff? Right. Yeah. And it's actually better to talk about payoff first than the process because the process, you know, can be painful sometimes, but that's what your team's there to assist with. So, which is, which I love, but the payoff is this, like, so, you know, insurance is all about, uh, if you are failing in the insurance business, the reason you're failing is because you're not seeing enough people. That's, that's a fact. Okay. That is the fact, right? But it's not just as simple as saying, oh, let me just uh, let me get some more leads then, I guess, right? Because, I mean, yeah, you can go do that. And you can always, if you've got, you know, you got a thousand bucks, you can always put yourself in front of some more people, right? But the edge that you get when, you're, when your clients and prospects are organized is you can create your own list of prospects that you don't even know that you have. Like, I was talking to a guy the other day. He's like, man, oh, yeah, well, how many new leads are you buying? And he was telling me, well, you know, I buy X number of leads. And, you know, he's spending, you know... a few thousand dollars like every month putting himself in front of people which good for him and he's getting a good return on his investment you know he's spending this he's earning this like there's nothing wrong with it he's making money but i said i asked him i said well do you go back like you've been doing this now for two years do you go back to the people that you you know they're what we would call aged leads right yeah yeah and he's like oh no i don't call aged leads because that's not you know I, i don't do that and uh, I'm like, right, but it's not because you're prejudiced against the people, right? It's like you, you, you want something fresh to be able to talk. You want to talk to fresh, interested people. That makes sense. Well, when you take aged leads and you put them into agent CRM, you can begin to slice and dice that information in so mm-hmm. in, in a way that allows you to say, like, oh, look, this person lives in this town, literally on this street that is next door to a client of mine. And so it's like, hey, is this Barbara? Barbara, hey, listen, I don't know if you remember me. I, I called you last year. You had requested some information about uh, Part D, uh, Part C, in Medicare. Look, I just talked to, uh, I just picked up a client. I think it lives on the same street. Do you, know, do you know Louise? You know, you can you can do things like that, right? Oh, yeah. You can yeah. Uh, you can you can say you can say like for example, you could load up your your client list. You know, uh, I just showed an agent how to do this. They take a, take a client list from a carrier, download it, upload it into agency CRM, run a thing on their birthday. So here's this is all final expense people, right? And here's all my final expense clients who who uh, turned sixty five this year, and just, just now, now like how is that not way more valuable than a bunch of strangers who you don't know who have requested information about Medicare? Those people you can just wow. call up and say, hey, look. Uh, I don't know what your situation, and obviously you can't cold call about Medicare Advantage. It has to be about supplement, but it's a Medicare conversation. So, hey, you yeah. know, hey, Carla, I was calling you to follow up on the life insurance policy you picked me up for me two years ago. Uh, everything is still okay with the policy. Do you need any help? You know, have you changed your beneficiary? Everything's still, you still at this address? Is this still your phone number? Get a bunch of yeses, right? And then it's like, okay, mm-hmm. perfect. Listen, um, listen, one of the reasons I was calling that I saw you just, you're about to turn 65 next month. No kidding, man. Happy birthday. That's great. Have you been assigned a personal Medicare specialist yet? Or are you still trying to figure all that out on your own? Wow. And 
you know, that's that that's a totally compliant call. You're not calling to pitch anything. You're just trying to scratch and sniff, see if anything's there, right? Yeah. Well, oh, you haven't? Oh, my goodness. Well, I, I started doing that with my, my clients this last year. I've been doing that with my clients for the last 10 years or whatever the case may be, right? So many great cross-sell opportunities that exist inside your book of business, inside the prospects that you've already paid for. Yeah. That that once you organize it in a different way, all of a sudden, this is not, it's not like pulling out a PDF of like, you know, like uh, these old leads from two years ago. It's right. Here's 30 people that fit this criteria. Well, that's a fresh new list that I can call for free. It didn't cost me anything. I love it. And you, you mentioned how you were talking to people in your book and writing down referrals. That's probably a little bit easier with agent CRM, right? Being able yes. to gather referrals. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. How has that been for you? Because like, I know a lot of insurance agents are, they earn the trust and the love of the clients that they work with. So referrals are just waiting. I feel like every single person that an insurance agent works with is like a small gold mine of referrals. And so how do you mine that list and then keep track of the referrals that come in using agent CRM? Yeah. So I, um, there's a couple different ways you can do it. So one is uh, you can create what they call like custom fields. You can create tags, things like that. So I always create a tag referral, right? So this is a referral. And then, and then in the, uh, we have a custom field. It's just who, who's the source of the referral, where they come from. Right. So, and, uh, and for us, we just use first name, last name, just keep it real simple. Right. So it's, I mean, sometimes you get some crossover, but most of the time it's not right. It's like, yeah. you know, I mean, you know, maybe Fred Smith, you know, gave, Oh, I have three Fred Smith. Oh, yeah. dang, you know, <laughs> but, but like, so if Arlene Crawford, right. Referred me three people. I can go in the, the, to the database at any time. Like let's, let's say, let's say in fact, you know, I'm doing a policy service thing or Arlene called me with a claim and I just helped her. Right. And I get off the phone with Arlene and I go, you know, man, I got 40 minutes to kill before my next appointment. Let me just see what referrals she gave me that haven't closed yet. And you can run a, a quick smart list in agent CRM. Say, I want to see everybody who is a referral from Arlene who is not a customer right now. Right. Oh. Or, or and, and boom, there you go. Right. Uh, and then you can just call them. Hey, listen, I was thinking about you. You know, I tried to call you, <laughs> tried to call you. If you remember, I tried to call you like two years ago and Arlene, was, was custom. anyway, I just helped her out with a claim. It made me think of you. And so I just want to give you a quick call. Actually, you have a couple minutes. Let me ask you a couple questions. I love Right. That. And it's beautiful. I mean, it's like it, 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 one of the things that I learned uh, early in my career is high relevance equals high access. High relevance equals high access. If you have low relevance, you get low access, right? Hey, uh, uh, are you the man of the house? Great. I'm calling about your insurance. <laughs> right. Uh, low relevance. right? Uh, but high relevance is, oh, uh, you know, hey, Alex, Alex, you don't know me, but you know, Eric Amati. Yeah. He w I was just on the phone with him talking. He said that you have a computer software company. And I work a lot with computer software. I have no idea if I could help you or not. But he just said, man, could you share, Alex, that idea that, that you gave me? So I want to just give you a quick call. Is now a good time or should we set up a time for later? Yeah, nice. Well, I'm probably going to get an appointment of some kind, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Or, or at least, well, yeah, throw me the question, right? Yeah. So, and I think that's the, that's the key thing is with, with a good CRM, which mm -hmm. is a CRM is a great CRM, it, it, it helps you have high relevance. Yeah. And high relevance will get you high access. And you can have high relevance with leads that are that are generated in uh, you know in, in the past without having to necessarily just because without without a good system, you're always just having to like I can't go to this big pile of old data. I have no way to monetize that. I I remember actually I, my my truck got broken into uh, years and years ago uh, when I was still out in the field, and and they stole my laptop and my iPad. They stole my bag. And in my bag were three of these books. Oh no. And I literally was like, dude, they could keep the iPad and the MacBook, but I mean, bring me back my book because these, these books are worth thousands of dollars to me. Mm -hmm. And they're worth right. nothing to those people who ended up in a dumpster. They're decomposing somewhere. Right. But that was tens of thousands of dollars of information, referrals, et cetera, that I could have monetized that I wasn't able to monetize because it was, you know, I, I, I don't possess it anymore. Right. And so that's one of the things about having a good CRM. And, and I, ever since then, that's, that's the, that I'd say that's probably the one event that drove me to be like, it, I'm not paperless. I have a bunch of paper on my desk here, but 
I, I strive to be as paperless as possible. If I could get all the data into the system and have that data fed to me on, on a device that's in my pocket. And if, if I lose a device or fall into the swimming pool because one of my friends is a jerk <laughs> at a party or whatever the case may be, right? It's no big deal. I just get a new phone, sign it with my name and password. And, oh, I still have all my data, you know? Yeah. So I love it. Anyway. I love it. Well, for those of you that are watching, Eric has actually gone ahead and um, he said, Alex, anybody who signs up for Agent CRM after watching this video, can have the pipelines that I have and the funnels that I've set up and the email templates that you use. So if you're watching this, you're like, all right, I'll try Agent CRM. Like I hear what Eric's saying. I'll give it a try. Click on the link below. It'll take you to a page where you can learn more about Agent CRM. And then if you start a free trial, you can try it out for free. No money is due today. You can see Eric's system inside of your Agent CRM account. Follow the onboarding process. We made it super duper easy for you to get your account set up. And then work with me and my team. We're here to help. So however you want support, we have phone support. We have live chat 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We have a Facebook group um, and we have daily live Zoom calls, which people love at 7 a.m. and 2 p.m. Pacific. You can just hop on Zoom and talk to my team. So Eric, thank you for making all that stuff available. That's going to really shortcut the process for these agents who are looking to get started on agent CRM. I, I really appreciate you doing that. Um, yeah, and for taking the time. Yeah. So you guys, I'm so excited to have you join Agent CRM. Eric, thank you so much for sharing your experience with Agent CRM, going from paper to digital. I love this story. So it's been awesome, man. I appreciate you. Thank you, guys. I look forward to seeing you inside of the Agent CRM Facebook group.